Coach Mike Westhoff with Armin and Levac on 104.5, the team, former Jets special teams coach, now on ESPN New York, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every Sunday morning and on SNY for your Jets postgame show. And Coach Westhoff, can you put it into your own words? How big is this game for the Jets, Jets at Patriots? Well, it's, it's, it's big in so many ways. You know, I mean, a, a conference game, a division game, uh, you know, we're going to find out you have a 4-1 and one team against a 5-0 and oh New England who has kind of dominated the, the division for a while. And, and now we're going to find out because this is Todd Bowles' his first year with a brand-new team. You know, I, I, I'm one for throwing out history uh, because every team's different. And so many guys that are in that locker room um, know only of this rivalry by reputation. You know, a lot of them, I mean, Darrell Revis was playing with them last year. Now, so you've got a new football team, a new coaching staff going against Bill Belichick and his crew. So there's a lot of indicators. Uh, they'll find out right where they are. Coach, what's a win for the Jets? Do they have to beat the Patriots, or is there a, an outcome other than a win that you go, all right, this is, this is a, still a win for the Jets? No, I don't think you can look at it as still a win. I used to tease about how I felt about this game and said that if if God said to me, Mike, you, you, I'll give you two choices. You can have incredible, every time you play New England, you'll beat them and have an incredible special teams game, or you could spend eternity in heaven. I would have asked him for 24 hours to think it over. <laughs> <laughs> Former Jet special teams coach Mike Westhoff with Armin in the back here on ESPN Radio 9 to 11 this Sunday morning. Coach, this week Sheldon Richardson said, quote, this is going to be another win for us. Do you have another pro- Do you have a problem with that? No, not really. I mean, Sheldon says a lot of things. <laughs> you know, the, the, the best time for Sheldon's quotes was when he was inactive, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he shut up for four weeks. He always has something to say. I, I personally am not crazy about that. You know, I, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see the great players. You know, they have tremendous confidence in themselves. They know they can win. But there are so many moving parts to these games that sometimes I think you're better off with just talking about how you want to play and not to guarantee things. I mean, he's only been back for a week. You know, make a few plays first. You know, then have something to say. So, frankly, he he always gives you something to talk about. Unfortunately, it's not always at the top of the list. Coach, we've got uh, fullback Tommy Bohannon coming up in a little while, and we're going to ask him this too. But as you look at it, how is Jets Pats Week different without Rex Ryan as the Jets head coach? Everybody's different. It's just different. Their personalities are different. How they handle things are differently. Rex did a lot of good things that they weren't all good. They really weren't. Um, you know, I was with when we had you know, a couple really good years, and it was a lot of fun. But then as the team began to break down, I mean, that's his responsibility. It'll be different with Rex. You know, Rex sometimes had, had a – but if you know him like I did, the bravado that you saw in public on the air in the media was not how he handled himself with the team. With the team, it was always very businesslike. I mean, it wasn't goofy. I used to read some of his quotes. I think, well, what the heck? Well, who said that? <laughs> That's not the guy I was with all week. The Rex has got his own problems. The New York Jets are a different team under a different coach. Yep. Amen to that. So this weekend, Coach Mike Westhoff with Armin in the back on 104.5, the team. Catch Coach Westhoff on SNY postgame. Jets, Patriots, 1 o'clock kick. What's the key to this game, Coach? I'm really going to be really interested to see how Bowles who really plays basically one defense. Now, lots of variations of it. But it's a 46, four defensive linemen, six DBs, and some form of man-to-man coverage. Now, against New England, that man-to-man coverage can be a recipe for disaster. Could they run that shallow underneath crossing routes and pick off your man-to-man better than anybody in football maybe has ever done it? Maybe he's ever done it. I'll go back to Marino. We had Duper and Clayton. We used to kill man-to-man back in those days. But that's what they do well. Now, how will the Jets adjust to that quick bubble screen the way New England is throwing it, where they release those linemen, Brady gets rid of the ball lightning fast, and I mean they are on the cusp of being illegal every time with it, but they're pulling it off. How will they adjust to that? Also, on the other side, the Patriots, who, who are coming into this game, you know, only ranked 
22nd in the league against the rush. They're going against the league's number one running team, the New York Jets, with Chris Ivory. How are they going to stop the run? I think they'll put eight guys in the box early. How will the Jets attack that? Those are the keys, the key matchups that I think will determine this game right there. Those types of things. And they have to do some things to straighten some special teams messes that they've had. You know, you can't win with 10 guys on the field now. You've got to straighten that junk out. But very interesting matchups and going to be very, very, very strategic. All right, Coach. So does Gang Green get it done? I think they can. I think they can. I look for it that if they're doing these things, can they rush Brady with four guys? And I mean rush him with four guys. Get after him. Not always have to blitz. Because if Buster screens out, that's their best blitz package guy. So that's a, that, that's a problem. I think they certainly can do it. Now, if they don't make these adjustments, I love the fact that they're in a good situation. I used to love to go up there knowing that, that it was going to be a good close game. I always thought we could win that. And we didn't always, certainly, but we did win our share. But it's, it's going to be a ball. And, and I think the Jets will do this. But if they don't, oh, don't <laughs> Told you so. That's what it's going to say. Coach Mike Westhoff with Armin in the back, 104.5 The Team. Catch him on ESPN Radio 9 to 11 morning this, su- this Sunday morning, 9 to 11. And then SNY doing the post game for the Jets, Patriots, 1 o'clock kick. Coach Mike Westhoff, let's do this thing. Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. No, you're welcome, guys. Thanks for asking. It'd be fun to watch.